Hello everyone, today's video for biochemistry in just 3 minutes is one of the serious health problem from which many individuals are suffering that is pre-diabetes. So first let's understand what is the difference between pre-diabetes and diabetes. So in the pre-diabetes, blood sugar levels are higher than the normal level but not high enough to be considered as a diabetes mellitus. That means fasting blood sugar level if it is in between 100 to 125 milligram per deciliter as you can see in the image. If it is less than 100 milligram per deciliter then it is considered as a normal and if it is greater than 126 milligram per deciliter then it is considered as a diabetes mellitus. Then post 2 hour glucose load value in OGTT if it is in between 140 to 100, 199 milligram per deciliter. If it is less than 140 then it is considered as a normal and if it is greater than 200 milligram per deciliter then it is considered as a diabetes diabetes mellitus and if the HbA1c levels are in between 5.6 to 6.4 percentage then it is considered as a pre-diabetes. HbA1c level less than 5.6 percentage is considered as a normal and greater than 6.5 percentage is considered as a diabetes mellitus. Now what are the signs and symptoms of pre-diabetes? So individuals suffering from the pre-diabetes are mostly asymptomatic that means they don't have a sign and symptoms but few individuals they might develop darkening of the skin especially around the armpits, groin, then side and back of the neck which is known as a acanthosis nigricans. So that is about the sign and symptoms. Now what are the risk factors for the pre-diabetes? So pre-diabetes can easily develop in the individuals who has a family history of type 2 diabetes mellitus, then who is suffering from obesity or BMI greater than 25, who has a history of smoking, who has a history of obstructive sleep apnea, then physical inactivity, then person suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome or from uh, or from gestational diabetes mellitus. So these are the risk factors for the pre-diabetes. Now what are the causes? So causes of pre-diabetes are same as that of diabetes mellitus that is insulin resistance. Now how to do the diagnosis of pre-diabetes? So pre-diabetes can be easily diagnosed with the help of three blood tests that is fasting blood sugar level, oral glucose, glucose tolerance test which is known as a OGTT or by the HbA1c level. The level of all this blood test I have discussed in the earlier part of the video. Now how to do the management? So pre-diabetes can easily reverse to the normal level by doing certain lifestyle modifications like by doing physical activity then by consuming a diet which has a high amount of protein and lower amount of carbohydrate. So that is all about pre-diabetes. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.